Uh, this week I'm going to show you how to do some different partner stretching. So this is great if you have like a significant other and you want to convince them to stretch you out after your workouts. anymore. Then you're going to push against here and pull her hip back. She should be feeling a stretch in the front of her hip. Usually it feels pretty good for people who have really tight hip flexors. Again, this one you can hold for like 15 to 30 seconds and then you're going to switch right into the next one where you're pushing the knee towards her shoulder and coming up here. Now this one it's very common for people to feel in their um, hip flexor, if you feel a pinching right here, you want to readjust the leg, and I'll show you that in a second, but Meredith, can you point to where you feel a stretch? Right on her butt. <laughs> That's exactly where we want to feel it. But if she did feel in her hip flexor, I would take her leg up again, bring it around and down, and pull it out from the hip socket a little bit more, and then she should not feel it in her hip flexor. Again, 30 seconds on that one, and you're good. Oh. All right, so this next one is a quad stretch. Uh, we'll do this in about three different angles, but you'll be able to see all of them. They're only slightly different. First, you put your hand like right above their glutes. You can kind of feel a bone there, and if you're on that bone, you're in the right spot, but you don't want to like push down too hard or else you'll hurt them. So making sure their leg doesn't rotate either way, so putting your body against theirs so it doesn't move, you're going to use your hand on their foot to push it up towards the ground. Now, if she feels this in her lower back, you want to tell her to pull her 
belly button up towards your spine. But otherwise, you should just feel like your quad. If you're really loose, you might not feel this one too much. And that, in that case, the hip flexor one that I showed you first is better to do. So you can go straight back to the glute. You can angle it a little bit in. And then you can angle it a little bit out to hit the different quad muscles. All right, Meredith, I'm going to have you put your hands behind your head. Perfect. And then as the stretcher, I'm going to be right behind her, my hip along with her spine. And then I'm going to take my arms up and over and pull her shoulders back. So this is a really great chest opener stretch. Um, usually people are pretty tight here, especially if you work at a desk all day, so this one feels really good and almost painful. So. <laughs> Hold that for about 30 seconds, and then switch. And for this one, she'll put her hands back, thumbs down, and then she'll tuck her chin to her chest and kind of pull away from me a little bit. She should feel a really good stretch in the front of her shoulders. And my knee is just right in between her shoulder blades. And you don't want to like knee your partner in the spine, but just slight pressure there. you guys enjoyed that partner stretch video I hope it was helpful make sure you guys hit subscribe and if you guys want to watch my video from last week it's right here you like a gamble I pay the price thought I could handle something undefined give me a reason to raise the stakes cause I can't walk away you keep taking the upper hand and you're leaving me